guys welcome back or welcome if you're new here my name is Josie and I'm a stay-at-home mom to one beautiful baby girl and on my channel I do a ton of decorating cleaning homemaking cooking meal prepping all that good stuff we just moved into this home so there's a lot of decor lately but there's still a bit of cleaning like today we are gonna be doing a pre weekend clean with me you know going into the weekend there's always so much to do like making sure the laundry is ready at at least for like Monday morning when my husband goes to work and making sure I have clothes the baby has clothes for the weekend um, my bathroom upstairs is disgusting actually my entire upstairs is disgusting because when I clean and um, this is like weekly cleaning let me know if you are the same way but I always forget about the upstairs like I just focus on the downstairs what people see like the guest bathroom when I do the floors I actually have not cleaned um, vacuumed and mopped the floors in like my upstairs hallway in so so long actually since we moved in but I'm a little ashamed to say that but yeah so we're just gonna get a couple things done I got my grocery order in we're gonna be putting that away and all that but today is gonna be a podcast out clean with me if you're new here then um it's basically where I just take the time to just chit chat with you guys so we feel a little less alone in this world right because that's what we need and we tackle um, all different types of subject, marriage, um, mom life, just all those types of things and getting real raw and real honest with each other. So um, today I thought I would just check up on you guys and mental health y'all because I know my mental health has been going through it with everything that's going on. Man, this generation of mamas just really have it really hard. First it was the pandemic and I don't know you guys can let me know down below whether you were already a mom during the pandemic or you became a mom during the pandemic but I became a mom in the very beginning of the pandemic well I got pregnant at the beginning of the pandemic and man it was just so so hard on us it's so hard we're literally raising children in the middle of a pandemic and if that wasn't already stressful enough now we have like world war three on the horizon gas prices are through the roof and just how are you guys doing i hope that each and every one of you are coping well as well as you could during these times i know for me it was i just came out of like a really dark place because i just felt like man um this pandemic has been going on for two years and now there's finally almost like a light at the end of the tunnel you know um a lot of hospitals are closing their covid units because cases are going down and it's looking like this thing might come to an end soon um but now this rumor of world war three just guys it sent me into a complete panic attack um let me know if this happened to you but um, I had to get off of TikTok because it was just not good for my mental health at all. There was so many videos and people were posting like Putin and, and translating what he's saying and how he was like kind of threatening with nuclear threats multiple times and that just sent me in a panic, y'all. Um, um, and it's actually the first time because I know that these things happened before and like there's been nuclear threats and rumors of world wars and all that stuff but now that I'm older I kind of understand it more I'm in the news more and then I have a child so I don't fear for myself anymore it's like a completely different fear as a mom like you just fear how you're gonna keep them safe so man this sent me into a panic um, me and my friends were talking about it me and my friend who are believers and we were just like praying about it because I was having so much anxiety I had like panic attacks y'all and um we decided like something in me was just like I think that we should do like make an emergency stash and I did like a whole grocery just focus on canned goods and emergency stuff I put them in suitcases <laughs> I guys I was panicking like I was just like just in case anything I want to have like I don't know I, I and I feel it's good either way because god forbid something happens like it doesn't have to be a war but you know 
prices on grocery is going up the supply chain is kind of struggling so just in case anything i think it's good to always have like an emergency stash and i didn't have that so hearing all these rumors of you know putin and and nuclear wars and all that stuff i'm like man if something were to garf a bit happen like i was watching um this news thing on tiktok and they were asking a mother who was in shelter in ukraine um if she was gonna plan to stay there and how long she was like she doesn't know how long she's gonna have to stay in this shelter and they asked her they asked her what she had for food and she pulled out and she had two children mind you and she pulled out a bag of pretzels and water and that's all she had and i was just like man i never want to be in that position god forbid anything happened because you know they were just like us and i don't want to scare anybody um this is not my goal to scare anybody i'm just i'm in a different place now but i'm just explaining the place that i was in before before. I was like in a panic I was in panic mode y'all but I was just thinking to myself like you know they were they were in a normal atmosphere just like us like you know it's not a third world country or anything like they were living life like us and then out of nowhere this happened and they were unprepared so I just I felt it in my mommy mind and heart to just let me put away an emergency stash so I got water I got canned foods I got all that good stuff to um you know put away just in case of anything and but i was just not in a, i felt better after i did that grocery i did because i felt like at least i would be able to feed my child but like guys i was just it, it was bad you guys let me know how you're coping because it really really was stressful for me i would hear planes like go over my house and I would panic and I would think it's like army planes I saw two black helicopters um going over my house and I posted on the ring app I was like there's two black helicopters are they military helicopters blah blah, blah. and then people were like so mean but I understand because I was panicking and I was being like irrational but they were like you do know that our neighborhood is like right next to an airport where military bases and blah 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 and I, I didn't know that or I didn't even think to look for that. I was just like, I saw something and any little thing that I hear outside now, I'm like thinking I, my thoughts just went to a really dark place. I started Googling how to survive a nuclear um, bomb. Where do you go? Um, you know, like bunkers and all that type of stuff started. I started like fiercely looking for are there any like bunkers near my house? And I started looking on the maps and all that stuff. And I was just not in a good place. I was i was not y'all this is really really scary and then because of all this too gas prices are through the roof and that stress on anybody whether you are rich or not nobody wants to play five to six dollars for gas let me know um how much your gas went up in your state but here in new york um at least where i'm at we were at like 279 289 per gallon and now we're at five dollars past five dollars y'all and what used to take my little hyundai car um 25 dollars to fill up now we're spending 40 to 50 dollars to fill her up and it is just crazy it's really stressful um we really really do have <laughs> kind of the the worst of it as moms right now i mean i don't want to say that because i know in the past there was wars and pandemics as well but like i just never thought i would be living through something like this like pandemics and wars and inflation and all this crazy stuff so i really hope i mean the way i get through this is prayer i just started praying every single night i pray for ukraine i pray for i even pray for the heart of of leadership you know that god because god can soften hearts and he can harden hearts so i pray that you know but it's sad it's sad but prayer definitely helped me just praying for these things and praying for safety god forbid anything that me and my family are covered by the blood you guys know i'm a big on my jesus i love him and he really helped bring me to a different place right now i'm more calm i'm more at ease again i had to stay away from tiktok so that's definitely a big tip that i have for you guys if you guys are were panicking or are panicking as much as i was get get away from tiktok because first of all 
a lot of the things that they post which i've learned are like old things and they like you know people do it and it's sad people do it for views and um i even saw this like one guy was posting and he was a he was a army guy i believe because he had like an army suit on but he was posting like what a nuclear alert would sound like and it's like an amber alert alert type thing but it's so scary and it's like it was scary to hear that and the fact and he knows that he knows that and, and it causes panic in people and he like and it's just like why would you do that for like i don't think he was doing it for um you know awareness it's, he was just doing it for likes and because he knows people are like feeding off of that and it was like a war talk on tiktok so i just feel like a lot of people are putting unnecessary things out there and things that are not necessarily true or old things and that makes it even worse so definitely i had to stay off tiktok i had to stay off the news and all that stuff but i noticed that even in my email quora.com whatever it is that that website that you ask questions and stuff they've been sending me like spam emails like what would happen if a nuclear threat blah 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 and i'm just like oh my gosh i have to stay off of social media because this is gonna be the end of me if i continue to listen to all this stuff and just pay attention to all this stuff so definitely if you are struggling stay off of social media it doesn't even hurt to like give yourself a little break off of news outlets as well like i know we like as adults like to keep up with the news and stuff but sometimes you just gotta separate yourself from all of that to really get in a better mental health space i know i did and i'm still not you know back on tiktok and looking at news outlets and all that stuff and i am totally okay with it i've been so much more calmer in my bible in my prayers and not worried about where this world is right now but yeah guys it's tough it's tough for us moms right now us parents or anybody in general but i just feel like moms already have like that protective instinct and then all this going on is just what runs through your mind is how am i going to protect my child how i'm going to protect my child and i know i'm already going through postpartum anxiety i already shared that with you guys about you know keeping like thinking about irrational situations and fears and all that stuff so this has been really hard on me so please guys let's chat let's chat about how you guys are doing let me know down in the comments if there's anything at all that i can pray for you guys um about um whether it be peace or anxiety or something else that you're struggling maybe you're struggling with finances now because you know everything is inflated groceries are inflated gas prices are inflated everything is inflated y'all and i i resonate with each and every one of you so thank you guys again for for listening today and staying tuned until now if you have and chatting with me i love these um little power hour chat chit chat with me podcast style things um and i hope that you guys enjoy listening to them as well and it makes you feel like you're talking to somebody that's my goal i want you guys to feel like there's somebody in the room with you talking to you as you clean or as you chill whatever you're doing but thank you guys again please do let me know if there is anything i can um, pray about for you and let's just chat in the comments y'all so thank you guys for watching i will see you in my next one i love you guys stay calm stay safe stay in your prayers and stay off of tiktok most importantly bye you guys Ghost,